Hi, this is JB from JB8 YouTube. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up on where we're up to on the uh, Skidmark Quad. So this is the latest version here. As you can see, it's a full 3D printed body. Um, the tracks are all integrated for the electrical wiring. Uh, we're using new motors. We're using the uh, the RCX, the 1306 motors but the 3100 kV version, we're going to run these on 3S we're going to hope to get some really good speed out of them uh, we've gone for the gem fan, 40 by 45 props so I'm able to significantly reduce the, uh, the footprint of this quad make it even smaller yet faster okay now to run along with that we're going to be using the um, the DYS BL Heli one shot ESCs. Now these have come down in price, I think they're about $12 now, which is quite reasonable considering the first KISS ESCs were about $35. Um, these also run, like I said, they run the one shot, which means you get damping. So, so you're going to get a lot more control from your quad um, when, you, when you're turning and maneuvering. Okay, what I've got here, I've fitted this out with, the, uh, with these Festoon type 12 volt LEDs. Um, just a matter of popping off the ends and then soldering some wires on so you can have a quick look here how I've done it and then you just run those wires straight through to the middle where the distribution board's going to go now with the uh, the rear LEDs so we've got some flashing um, 12 volt LEDs they've got the built-in resistor um, so what I've done is I've put two of those in but I've, I've cut off one of the resistors so I'll just show you quickly how I've done that so you can see I've run the black wire down to the first LED, bent the first resistor across, and then connect that to the black side of the second LED, and then run the red wire up. So that works That works fine. You're just basically going from black, red, black, red. Um, still running the 12 volts through it with the one resistor. So it kind of fits in really nice. Um, as you can see with this frame, I've got the built-in um, Nazi stand for it. Okay, and again I've got the 10 degree tilt mounts. So I've had to modify those a little bit uh, just to make these, these little motors fit. But um, yeah, look, stay tuned. Oh, sorry, the other improvement that Derek recommended was the, um, was the cable ties. So you wanted to be able to quickly replace the cable ties if he was in a big smash. Uh, he found that the body was getting damaged. So this will prevent that from happening. It's probably a bit more agricultural, but I think in the long run, uh, we'll be pleased we've done it. Okay, the FPV gear. So we're going to be running this uh, this miniature camera. Now this is the RC timer one. This is the 127 degree camera. And it comes with a kit with the uh, transmitter. And it's a really good price. I think it's about 40 Australian delivered, which is really good. Um, anyway, look, uh, you know, I'm really interested to see how this the BL Heli goes with the one shot and how the uh, smaller high revving motors go on the 3S. I think this thing's going to be like a little rocket. Um, I'll get back to you when I've um, when I've progressed a bit more through the build. But if you've got any questions, just uh, let me know. Thanks for watching, JB out.